Hello, I'm Jeannie Ellis, also known as Scrapbooking Mammal. Uh, I had posted a project on Facebook page called Scrapbooking with Me Boutique, and one of the uh, administrators asked me how I did the background colors there that you see. And I thought I'd do a short tutorial and show you how I did that. Now, First of all, I got these pro these uh, items from the boutique. Um, you can go with uh, scrapbookingwithmeboutique.com online store, or you can go through the Facebook page. I'm also one of the administrators on there, too. Really new at that, and I love it. So first of all, I got this watercolor paper from the scrapbooking store online um, through the Facebook page. And I took a simple baby wipe and I dabbed it into different distress inks. And they were some that I had in my stash already. And I just kind of randomly did this. And I kind of wanted to blend it in so I wouldn't have any, you know, striking colors out there. I just wanted to mute it. Then I just took another color. This one's going to be a green color. And I did the same thing, just kind of randomly did it. I'm going to put a little bit more in there. And I wanted to cover the whole page there, the different colors. And I wanted a blue color into it. See how the colors are changing in there? And I just basically went up and down with it. I'd seen someone on Facebook or YouTube do this, and they used a brayer, and I haven't bought a brayer yet. I keep meaning to do it, but then I see something else I want to get instead. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more pink on the other side here because it's getting too light over that way. And maybe a little bit more of the blue. And I just kept doing that. I think I'm needing more of the blue again. Yeah, that's better. So I just, I didn't have any rhyme or reason to the colors. I just grabbed a color and went with it. And these are going to be a little bit darker, it looks like, than what I had on the, the other sheet. But that's okay. That's part of the process. And then I kind of just rubbed all over it. And, uh, and I checked to see if there was any color I wanted to add to it. I think I may have gone off camera there. And I let it dry. And if I decide that I want something else to it, if it's not right, then I can always go back onto it and add co more color to it. This is the one I just did. And can you tell I have my Facebook page on? And this is the one I did a few minutes ago when I was trying to record the first time. That, of course, didn't work. I think I need to add some yellow in there, though. Yeah, that's really, that yellow really is popping it out better. And there you have it. And any mistakes that's on there, like you see this little spot right here, it's going to be covered, so I'm not going to worry about it. So you can lay it any direction you want to. There's no specific way. It depends on how you want your layout done. 
and then I took and placed it on paper that I had got from the November kit, uh, the Paper Mania, Ducrafts Paper Mania Capsule Collection Midnight Blush. I had used that and, and, and the flowers came from that collection and so did the embellishments here too. And I had just put it on top of here and the ribbon came on it too. And I had used the black embossing paste that came from the boutique. And I really can't read. It's windy and I can't read it. I am so sorry. Studio 490. It's by uh, Dreamweaver stencils. And I think this time I am going to try putting that black embossing on it and put on this chunky metal metallic seasonings on it too. So I may do that. And if I do, then I will post it onto the Scrapbooking With Me members room page. So all links will be below. If you have any questions, just private message me. You can private message me on Facebook through the members room, or you can uh, inbox me on YouTube. Thank you and have a great day. And remember, Scrapbooking With Me Boutique, Facebook page, or scrapbookingwithme.com online store.